When we're presented with a huge list of numbers, it's difficult to make sense of them. Even when data is organized in a table, it is often difficult to see trends. This is when a graph can be very useful. In this module, we will focus on making predictions based on trends of data. Let's say we carry out an experiment to see if there's a correlation between the growth of a plant and the amount of fertilizer added. We would conduct the experiment and record the results in a table. A scatter plot would help to show if there is a correlation between the amount of fertilizer added and growth. Scatter plots are similar to line graphs in that they start with mapping quantitative data points. The difference is that with a scatter plot, the decision is made that the individual point should not be connected directly together with a line, but instead expressed a trend. With a scatter plot, a mark, usually a dot, a cross, or a small circle, represents a single data point. With one for every data point, a visual distribution of the data can be seen. Depending on how tightly the points cluster together, you may be able to discern a clear trend in the data. A line of best fit can often be drawn to indicate a correlation. We often see a line of best fit in scatter plots extended or extrapolated beyond the data range to make predictions. So how accurate are predictions made in this way? In this case, we can assume that the experiment outlined in this video was carried out in a laboratory where it is easy to control other variables such as sunlight, temperature and available water. So the predictions made by extrapolating this line may be a true reflection of what might happen. However, data presented is not always collected under controlled conditions. If the same care is not made in recording each data point, then predictions made beyond the data range may be meaningless. In this module, we will plot the winning times in two Olympic events and make predictions of future winning times based on extending lines of best fit or mathematical models.